There is just something about the start of a new year that gives us the feeling of a fresh start and a new beginning. A New Year's resolution is a tradition most common in the Western Hemisphere but also found in the Eastern Hemisphere in which a person resolves to change an undesired trait or behavior to accomplish a personal goal or otherwise improves their life. The practice of making a New Year's resolution dates back over 3,000 years to the ancient Babylonians. In reality, there is no difference between December 31st and January 1st. Nothing mystical occurs at midnight on December 31st. The Bible does not speak for or against the concept of New Year's resolutions. However, if a Christian determines to make a New Year's resolution, what kind of resolution should he or she make? Common New Year's resolutions are commitments to quit smoking, to stop drinking, to manage money more wisely, and to spend more time with family. By far, the most common New Year's resolution is to lose weight in conjunction with exercising more and eating more healthily. These are all good goals to set. However, 1 Timothy instructs us to keep exercise in perspective. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The vast majority of New Year's resolutions, even among Christians, are in relation to physical things. This should not be. Many Christians make New Year's resolutions to pray more, to read the Bible every day, and to attend church more regularly. These are fantastic goals. However, these New Year resolutions fail just as often as the non-spiritual resolutions because there's no power in a New Year's resolution. Resolving to start or stop doing a certain activity has no value unless you have the proper motivation for stopping or starting that activity. For example, why do you want to read the Bible every day? Is it to honor God and grow spiritually? Or is it because you have just heard that it is a good thing to do? Why do you want to lose weight? Is it to honor God with your body? Or is it for vanity, to honor yourself? Philippians chapter 4 tells us, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. John chapter 15 declares, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If God is the center of your New Year's resolution, it has chance for success depending on your commitment to it. If it is God's will for something to be fulfilled, He will enable you to fulfill it. If a resolution is not God-honoring and or is not in agreement with God's word, we will not receive God's help in fulfilling the resolution. The most important resolution a Christian can make is to commit to a closer, more personal relationship with God. This process begins the moment we wake up so we should commit to waking up in a godly way. Number one, pray before you even get out of bed. Number two, read a verse of scripture or two. Number three, thank God for your breakfast. Number four, cleanse your body. To cleanse is to purify. Number five, clean up some little thing before you leave or go about your day. And number six, praise God as you leave your house. Following these steps every morning will only help your relationship with God become closer, stronger, and much more personal with Him, allowing you to serve God in a most abundant and powerful way. Happy New Year!